So we're using the uh, 4026 decked counter and 7 segment display driver. Okay, so this is the pin layout here, so it has 16 pins. Okay, so this tells you what each uh, uh, pin um, is. Okay, so the only pins that I'm not using on my circuit is pin 4 and 5 and pin 14. Okay, um, I use all the, the rest of the pins, okay. So we're using um, a common cathode 7 segment display. Okay, so the exact one is the Kingbright SC5211 uh, lessor WA. Okay, so it has 10 pins and this is what each pin does. Okay, so in my circuit I'm not using pin 5, it's uh, for the full stop, I just don't use it. Um, and you have to note as well that pin 3 and pin 8 um, are grounded, okay. So that's pretty much it. So what you do is, um, as you can see here on the actual 4026 chip, we have um, you know um, letters from um, A down to uh, G. Okay, so then you just connect them to the corresponding pins that uh, match up here on the uh, seven segment uh, display. Okay, and um, and that's that's pretty much it. Okay. So this is our circuit, okay, so over here basically we have a 7805 uh, voltage regulator, so when I take in um, 9 volts from the battery, we want it to um, be 5 volts, okay, at the output, so that's connected to um, both rails here, okay. So in here is our 505 um, timer circuit, I've already looked at this in a previous video on my channel, so go and check it out if you want to, okay. So that provides our clock signal that's connected to pin 1 of the 4026 uh, chip okay so um you just connect it up uh, like um from the <coughs> um from the pin layout that i showed you okay um of the 4026 chip and the uh, seven segment uh, display okay so once again i don't use pin 4 5 and 14 on the 4026 and on the seven segment display i don't use pin 5 okay cuz that's the, the full stop okay but that's pretty much it okay so I've connected the battery to the circuit so you can see that um, it works um, like we expect okay so it counts from uh, 0 up to 9 and then it repeats okay and um, and that's it